Hey there, good morning everyone. Wednesday morning, the 25th of August, 2021. This morning's devotion is a reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, reading verses 1 and 2, which read, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Very powerful verse this morning that we find in Scripture and Jesus warns us not to judge one another unless we wish to be judged ourselves. He explained that as we judge others, we have failed to see our own sin. If we witness something we think isn't right, we need to assess our own behaviors before attacking the wrongdoer. Many people use this verse in an attempt to silence their critics, meaning the words of Jesus as, you don't have the right to tell me I'm wrong. However, there's far more to the passage than those three words. The command that we do not judge others does not mean all actions are equally moral or that truth is relative. Scriptures clearly teach that truth is objective, eternal and inseparable from God's character. Anything that contradicts that truth is a lie. But of course, to call something a lie is to judge now, isn't it? To call adultery or murder a sin is likewise to pass judgment, but it's also to agree with God. When Jesus said not to judge others, he did not mean that no one can identify sin for what it is based on God's definition of sin. Superficial judgment is wrong. Passing judgment on someone based on their solely on their appearance or character is sinful. It is foolish to jump to conclusions before investigating the facts. Simon the Pharisee in Luke chapter 7 verses 36 to 50 passed judgment on a woman based on her appearance and reputation, but he failed to see that the woman had been forgiven. Observations about the morality of others should most often be kept to ourselves. If we think that someone with whom we have mutual trust has sinned, we should adopt the mind of Christ. My dear friends, do not be the first one to cast a stone. Do the mirror test and see what is reflected back to you. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.